crackers, candy canes, and bacon. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus. Your sister's ass to punish press. Very ticked off, Vic. I know I don't seem ticked off, but believe me, on the inside, I am seething. Um, a lot of my fans have been telling me, uh, Vic, we love you. We agree with you, uh, but you got to watch yourself. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. It, it's not worth it. So I, I try to do ticked off Vic's, and then I, I move on with my life. I try not to dwell on the madness in this world. But uh, once again, you know, unless you've been living in a cave and you haven't heard, then again, maybe it's better off that we live in a cave these days. A um, couple of things in the news have been really uh, ticking me off. Y you know what ticks me off? Animal crackers, candy canes, and bacon. Let me explain. I already touched on this subject of the animal crackers, uh, but... Uh, I didn't really get into detail. Remember Animal Crackers? We were kids. They, they came in that little box, and the picture on the box, the Animal Crackers were inside a cage. Well, the Animal Reich's active, and don't get me wrong, folks, I love animals more than humans, believe me, but they wanted to do away with the cage because the, the animals have to be free. Remember the box? You would collect the boxes that came with a little string, the carry string, and if you got enough boxes, you'd make a train out of it. Anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. That's I'm talking to the people who had childhoods like me. Uh, but now I went to the store, and this is what they come in. Little plain bags, no pictures of the animals, the, the bars are gone. Not even in the box anymore. It's, it's in a generic, typical plastic bag. They're fucking cookies! They're cookies! Look! Cookies! Look! Lions! And tigers! And bears! Oh my! Shirley Temple sang about them. She put them in her soup for Christ's sake. They're fucking cookies! Recently, um, a principal in uh, Nebraska, she wants to ban candy canes. Candy canes, a simple candy that's been around for years and years. It's, it's a holiday treat. They, candy canes, she said. They want to ban candy canes because... They're shaped like a J, as in Jesus. Well, 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 listen to me, you stupid twat. And I'm being a gentleman by not using another word to describe you. What if we held it like this? Would that help the situation, you fucking idiot? Have you ever seen a cane? This is what canes look like. So it's a candy cane. Like this! We don't hover like this! Unless it's a fucking umbrella, you fucking moron! Now, another story I just heard. They want to do away with the expression, bringing home the bacon. Because it's, it's offensive... To pigs. You, you know what, folks? You morons who, who came with this, this new fucking thing, it's an expression, you fucking moron. It's a figure of speech. Bringing home the bacon also means you're bringing home the money. I'm the breadwinner. I'm the bacon. I bring home the fucking bacon. I got nothing against pigs. And by the way, I love bacon. I eat bacon whenever I can. I love, I don't, I don't tell you to, not to be a vegan or a, whatever the fuck your diet is. And don't tell me what I should or shouldn't fucking eat. I like bacon. I like eggs. I like an egg. It comes out of a chicken's ass. And I like to eat it because that egg could possibly have been 
a, a little chicken one day, but instead I'm, it's like an abortion. I'm eating a fucking abortion. Oh, does that fucking piss you off? It's a fucking egg. Bacon and eggs. I'm bringing home the bacon. Animal crackers, candy canes, and bacon. That's what ticks me off. 